what 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 Oh, tattoos have been around for centuries, even millennia. These intricate markings designed with patterns, pictures, and legends are made by puncturing the skin and in the process inserting and leaving indelible pigments beneath it. Since time immemorial, before the arrival of the West, tattoos have covered the bodies of our ancestors. The Spaniards named them the Pintados, which meant painted. The term tattoo is believed to have come from the word tattoo. It is also known as tattoo, tatao, tattoo, which all mean to strike or to stamp. In the heart of the northern mountains, tattoos cover both skin and culture of the Kalingas. Seventeen hours north from Manila lies the village of Puskalan. Here lives one of its village elders who still practice the ancient ways of her people, chief among them the art of tattooing. Tucked deep within the mountains, the Kalinga tradition of tattooing lives on through her. A woman in her 90s dedicated her life to the art of batok, the traditional Kalinga tattoos. She is known as a Mamba Batok, a Kalinga tattoo artist. Each village used to have at least one tattoo artist. Now, she is the only one in the tribe who still carry this practice. I'm <laughs> I'm 
The prevalent designs for the tattoos done among the Kalinga females are the fern, centipede, flowing river, rice terraces, and the mat. Their tattoos were once considered as upper garments as they go about bare-breasted with the tattoos. The Kalinga women also have tattoos called sinokrai, which appear like sleeves on their garments. The young men and women of Kalinga once saw themselves as ambaru, or beautiful, when they have body tattoos. Those without tattoos were once perceived as unattractive, weak, and different, and are thereby regarded as bad omens for the community. Matoitaan, aran testi, si jari yung kausan na. Uwe ay rogad tawid do, ang saan na. Aaron sa, na matoita. Aba, ang barong pukato ah. Tarawab yung man ata, kubay u ah, aran sa sayo. Anong yag? Matoyaru <laughs> The tattooing process starts by drawing the design with a piece of straw. Soot mixed with water is used to make the ink or merieka. An orange thorn is attached to a piece of bamboo laced with ink on its tip. A short stick is used to push the bamboo in order to force the thorn to prick and break the skin. This tattooing tool is called Lukfan. This hand tap method pierces the skin at approximately 90 to 120 taps per minute. Bayan. 
For the Kalingas, tattoos are symbols of one's rite of passage. As they go from one stage of their lives to the next, their journey is marked by the tattoos on their bodies. These rites are categorized into three stages. Rites of separation, rites of transition, and rites of incorporation. Separation signified the removal of a Kalinga from the community. An example of this is a funeral. Transition signified the isolation of a Kalinga before he or she moves into the next stage of life, such as a betrothal and pregnancy. Incorporation signified the return of the person to the society in his or her new status in life, as shown by marriage. Also, Kalingas believe that changes in the status of a person can cause disruptions in their society. These disruptions are believed to cause misfortunes. The art and tradition of tattoos and tattooing are deemed necessary to counter such disturbances. <laughs> Tattooing was once done by a Mamba Batok for the head hunting and head taking expeditions. This was a solemn rite of transition, signifying the complete departure of a Kalinga male from childhood to adulthood. For both the men and women of Kalinga, traditional tattoos were also done for protection, serving as a sort of talisman against all sorts of evils like enemies, diseases, famine, and misfortune. Tattoos depicting powerful beasts, esoteric patterns, and religious formulas are believed to give strength and invulnerability, especially during combat and warfare. <laughs> Ini saja, jangan sesara sebelum ini, jangan sesara. 
Ano yung kabos? Tawa brother na siya, aran nang ilabi ang sababi. May duwa. Agang naki... Ang sadyagang nakabra, wabaila sa... Kaya ura sa aratan sadyagang nakabra, maling kansan. Sirup. Sirup. Ay, lusang gulat na kotwakan. Kwasaw. Ikaw kayo dyan na luong. Nakilan sa ba, mapuli ka igigitan o ba sa pakato, o kung manakilan sa. Ay, kayo dyan ba rin masamatan araon. Istay ba ang sila sa nagpubali pa ka doon? Tabay sa agay, siwa bituyo ka mali araw at samay. Si siya, nung matuwi abi, si siya rama nung katok ta na tulis. Babi, niya bara na tayo, apu ba ko kalas? Mga tono, matoja, si si Japa ibang hakato, tayo na kaaroan. Bato, the traditional art of tattooing of the Kalinga is truly a treasure. Tattoos for the Kalinga not only cover and adorn their bodies, but wrap and envelop their entire culture with each brick of the needle. Having gone through this journey up north, this humble traveler has experienced Batok in a new light. Even if for only a few days, I am proud to have lived with them, as it made me see how Fang Od and other elders truly cherish and uphold this practice. I could see and feel how absolutely proud they are of their skill and their art. However, I could also feel this prevalent fear among them that Batok is in danger. Its importance is slowly fading among the Kalingas themselves, as the younger generations have seemingly neglected this important aspect of their culture. Nevertheless, Fang Od and the others are also quite happy and hopeful because Batok has also gained newfound life through the individuals who make the journey up north. Through each snap of the lens, each roll of the film, and each word written and spoken about them, Fang Od and the others believe that Matok will continue to live on. I consider myself fortunate to have made this journey deep into the heart of the northern mountains and have experienced Batok with the hope of imparting the knowledge I have gained from them about this wonderful tradition through this simple documentary.